Hi, Whisper Stars, Vita Manitoba, Canada. Happy Wednesday, all. May 3rd, 2017. Beautiful cloudy skies today. Although by 1030 it was already plus 11 or plus 11 degrees Celsius or 52 Fahrenheit and um, the winds are north northwest at 16 kilometers per hour or 10 miles per hour which really is not bad at all and the only day that they did not call for rain today was the day that we got some rain and I'm just going to try and stick to the odd looking cotton ball y co uh, clouds and trails. And at least now I know that I'm recognizing the difference of the clouds and trails and it's not quite noon yet still morning um, started my walk at 10 30 and uh, We've had some rain, as you can tell by the low alley girl. And oh. we have right. a bit of a sun. So what Be I back. owe you for babysitting? So, sources say that the rain has moved towards the north and that it's raining in other towns nearby. At least the sun is out now, it wasn't earlier. But I seriously try to keep the camera as steady as I can, but I uh, have lupus, fibromyalgia, and EDS, and a congenital heart defect, so I have to limit myself to one coffee a day or else it, I just get way too shaky and makes my heart go way too fast but 
it's inherited from my dad and now they have a surgery for it but I'm too old for it I mean I've had high cholesterol since I was 17 and only 70 pounds, but, <coughs> but, <coughs> but uh, now they're saying that with my high cholesterol that it, uh, wouldn't be a good idea to have the surgery done now because they could it could uh, the one valve could clog up with the cholesterol and and they'd just have to end up making another valve, which I already have. That's the heart defect. It's an extra heart valve that's under my heart. So I get these things that feel similar to a panic attack, I guess, that just come on for absolutely no reason, you know, not really doing anything or exerting myself or anything like that. And I could just be reading a book or just browsing through the computer and all I'll get is just without warning my heart rate can go anywhere from 120 to 180 beats per minute and if it lasts half an hour I'm supposed to go to the hospital but that was what my dad was born with my late dad and he made it to 85 almost 86 and if my mom had still been alive I'm sure that he would have made it a lot longer but he just wanted to be with her and so the last well he passed away it less than four months after she did so really hard and no no I used to think that I would miss my dad more than my mom but I was wrong I just I miss my mom so bad I miss my daughter so bad, even though I have no contact with them since my mom passed away, or with my grandchildren, but my oldest daughter caused so much problems, and she threw my mom's 
Bible in the garbage. So my cousin called my Auntie Marie and she told him to retrieve it and that she would bring it into the church in Winnipeg and then if I want it the bishop and the priest that are there will give it to me and of course I want it it's got more of a detailed family tree than what I've come up with and it has my birth records and my newborn photo and then my daughter's newborn photos and it's got my baptismal papers in there and how could someone do that? I mean she took so much because if my youngest daughter and I couldn't be there at the time, well, what she did was whatever she couldn't sell, she garbaged or gave away. And a lot of the stuff in my late parents' home had been mine that I had been keeping for safekeeping because I moved so often and like I said I had a gold dollar size coin from the queen from when I was four years old and a silver dollar from Deefen Baker from when I was four years old. And that was just before I was put into the, the uh, 1968 MK program in Canada. It was a remote location and it blew up over Christmas holidays when I was 14. And they tried to say that all of that stuff stopped at that point but it didn't they just moved locations that's all and I don't know I don't know what's wrong with my oldest daughter it's like she has an alternate reality to what actually happened but then her father is like a damn television evangelist the way he speaks to people and whatever so he had custody on even years and I had custody on odd years and that was because we lived a fair distance apart. And so 
I moved to the area and they didn't want to change schools again. So I moved to the area and I believe I was a decent parent. But you know, having had a cesarean for my oldest daughter, it's like did she really come for me? Except she looks just like me and acts just like her dad. My youngest daughter looks more like her dad, or used to. She's starting to look a lot more like my Oma Ribe. And only different being that she's about four foot eleven and lucky if she's eighty pounds soaking wet. And yet my oldest daughter was the preemie and I had my garden space worked up yesterday. So got some plants started inside so that I can plant after Mother's Day, and I don't think it showed yesterday, but right there was where I had gotten the photos of the new moon, or the full moon, April the 20th, only it didn't behave like the full moon because it was at the horizon right there in those trees by the Premier Highway, and it was extremely red, and then as it moved up, it was changing from red to orange, deep orange to deep yellow, and I had the camera braced and it was moving around, almost looking like Saturn, only I don't think it was Saturn, but it, it wasn't normal. It didn't have any normal behavior whatsoever. And the, at the time, the full moon, was over there, so I don't know. I know that it moves from the east to the west or whatever, but because every other moon shot, that full moon shot that I got was in the west but that one wasn't like the moon and that's the same place that I saw a blue object one night that I at first thought was a car only then it began glowing this blue blue glow and this wouldn't pick it up and my other digital camera wouldn't pick it up so and I don't know why It was as bright as what the moon had been, so the cameras should have picked it up, but didn't. So, actually, when I came out 
I'm gonna sit on the edge over there to see if I can could get anything of it all, at all. My batteries were just automatically drained and yet just previous to that they had been fully charged so yeah I really really don't know what that was I have no explanation no scientific explanation no paranormal explanation because I don't know if it was a UFO or not could have been someone parked there with blue LED lights or something but then again they couldn't lift off, could they? So, once again, Whisper Stars, Vita Manitoba, Canada. Wish you all love, peace, joys, blessings, safety, and that you have someone loving and caring or more than one person loving and caring to share your time with. It's a very beautiful thing. And this is coming from someone who had thought that she would never ever remarry after the ordeal with the first husband but that was an arranged marriage between his father and my mother and we got sent to Ontario and he was fairly okay the first year but after that things were getting a lot harder and a lot more brutal and now I have a good loving husband so I'm very very good man that actually has morals who's respectful and does everything that he can for me. Actually he kind of spoils me and there was some rain out earlier this morning and Hopefully we will get a little more rain when wishing. It's going to be a dry year, so why not get the rain when we can? And if you've made it all the way through this video and you've liked it, I would appreciate a like and or subscribe, but only if you liked it. I mean, this is nothing extraordinary, it's just vlogging, but I would appreciate it anyway. And thank you for watching my video or videos.
and once again, Whisper Stars, Fighter Manitoba, Canada, and ciao for now.